Good morning, viewers. It's day six. We slept long. It's a late start this morning. I think it's 9.30. And um, Brian's just starting the morning out behind me by installing the old sink so in the cabinet so that we can have warm water to work with and also just water on this floor because right now we either go upstairs or downstairs to use the sink or outside. So that'll be really convenient and helpful. Um, our tile looks good. It's dry. We're going to take these clips off in just a minute here so that we can walk normally. And then we're going to attack the rest of the drywall so that we are kind of done in this area. We'll clean up this tile. We're debating whether we grout it and then move on to the bathroom rather than the dining room so that we have this dining room area to continue working. Feeling pretty good today. We've got three more days until Thanksgiving. That is not our end date, but it's just kind of like a break date where we're going to go down and see our cousins. And Oh, I'm feeling good about my hair today, which helps. My injuries that I've sustained are going to slow me down. My hands are in rough shape. There's just like tiny little nicks and cuts and that's where the skin was ripped off by that drill that you went through with me yesterday. Um, this is permanent dirt and grout in my fingernails that doesn't ever seem to come off. Little cuts like that just are painful. Thin set is going into my bloodstream. I'm taking one for the team. We've got all the clips out and the thin set scraped out of the seams. This tile is ready to be grouted and sealed. So what you got going here is the drywall corners that get mudded in place to each corner and that helps give reinforcement to the corners so that when you're running through the hallways and you bang up against a drywall corner it doesn't completely fall apart. And what I've got over here is I'm extending this electrical switch that used to be in the hallway, which is a switch to that fan light. And I'm just extending it in the junction box over here and putting it over in the dining room area. And as soon as I get that done, then I'll put up that piece of drywall and we'll have a complete wall over here. All right, I've got the fan switch all connected. And behind me is where the last piece of big drywall is going to go. This is a moment of truth. I just turned the circuit breaker back on to see if my electrical skills are as good as I think they are. Uh, again, this is a live shot. I am not editing this. My junction box, I redid. My switch, let's see if it blows. Let's see here. We have Uncle Lenny and Larry to thank if it works. Oh, thank the baby Jesus. Well, the light works. Wait, I think. A fan. Oh my god, it feels good to be queen! It works! And now what's cool is Mary and Gary can turn their fan down low. And they can also They've never had that, have they? turn their lights. Wait, the light just went out, but it's because I think it's weirdly um, wired at the fan. And when we replace the fan, it should change. Because, see, they've got it where you can only control it up here. So now they're both on. Oh, yeah. And then we turn them both off with the switch. 
on, off. No, actually what's weird is you still have to do them both at the same time. More investigation to come. This is an update from the queen. I have wired the switch correctly. Lenny, Larry, you should be proud. And the situation is that the fan is on an uh, outlet plug. It's like old school C way up there in the, in the wall. It's on that plug, so it's not even prepared to be wired with the fourth wire, for those of you that know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to need to run the extra power directly to the fan from the outlet box and cover it with the junction box cover when I replace the fan, which is a whole other project. The point is we have success so far in this wall, which is step one. I don't know when step two will be. It might be like on day 12. We'll see. This is Brian's morning. Pretty fruitless task. I mean, in the end, it's very rewarding, but the process is so slow, unless you're a real bona fide professional drywall guy, which is not something Brian touts as his number one skill, but he has the amazing ability to pretty much do anything. And so rather than calling in a drywall guy, he's being the DG and he's doing these corners right now and it just takes a long time. It doesn't help that he's a perfectionist, but in the end, just like everything else, it's always gonna look so good. Anything to say for yourself, Bri? I've got nothing, I've got Brian. nothing. Brian's helping me fish a couple more wires through because we're almost done with the electrical. And the thing is, when you start drywall, you realize you really gotta nail down all your electrical. Otherwise, you know, it's the last chance kind of thing. So. We decided to do one more thing that we think is pretty cool. We're kind of into lighting and I don't know if it's it's just our thing. So at the um, request of nobody, we are going to put in an outlet up here on top of this shelf that we're going to build. And that way the outlet is going to be on a switch so that we could plug in a string of lights above there or Mary could have anything that needs a plug-in that would turn on automatically when you flip a switch down here in the kitchen. And that's just like a fun piece we'll have so you can see from above and it kind of gives it some uplighting. Totally unnecessary, but pretty cool. Oh, that's the nail I was looking for. The last one? Yeah. Old joke, I know. I use it all the time. Oh, Brian. That's it. That's the last of the drywall to be hung. Now that means nothing about it being mudded and sanded, but it's all hung so you can kind of get a little bit more of a picture of what's gonna be happening here. And we're about to finish hanging all the drywall. We have like one tiny thing to look at in the bathroom because we're gonna move the light fixture so that will probably involve a um, patch, but that's it. Plumbing in the shower. Gotta put the Teflon tape on. <laughs>